What up, what up, what up? This edition of Fat Boy Fresh, you're gonna be doing jerk egg roll. Just in time for Memorial Day, you got some leftover jerk chicken from the grill. What you gonna do with it, Fat Boy Fresh? What I'm gonna do with it, I'm gonna make some jerk egg rolls. At the same time, I'm gonna be having a pineapple mango dipping sauce. Mmm. Jerk egg rolls. This edition of Fat Boy. Tired of the same old same, I play this lame. Who's gonna change the game? Uh -huh. Fat Boy Fresh. Yep. That Boy Fresh. Red one, red two, check. Fat Boy. Fat Boy Fresh. Yup. Fat Boy Fresh. Okay, so for this one here, I said we're gonna be making jerk egg rolls. So, of course, I got some good old jerk chicken that I did in the oven. Alright. And of course, Fat Boy Fresh can always play by the rules. So, I'm gonna be doing uh, jerk chicken and shrimp egg roll there. You know what I'm saying? So, I said I'm gonna be having a uh, pineapple sauce. So, pineapple mango sauce. So, I got a pineapple and I got a mango. I'm gonna brighten up a little bit of lemon. Of course, you gotta have your egg roll wrappers and you gotta have some cabbage and some carrot for the filling of your egg roll. And to seal that up, we're gonna use some cornstarch so and just to season up a little bit of things going on there. I got my all purpose seasoning that I like to use. So let's get right to it. Alright, that's the best I could do right there. So, let's load this baby up. I'm going with all this mango because I don't want to waste it. Mm -hmm. Fat. Take like two slices of uh, pineapple there. I'm going to make it rough so it fits in there. Add a little bit of lemon juice. We're gonna do that later. Alright, so let's try to get it to go. See this magic bullet got some magic to it. That up. Okay. okay, since we got that all done up, let's uh go on and do this. Now I peeled out the outer layers of this, so you know what? You really ain't no need to wash it. I don't know what you're gonna do by washing it. You know what I mean? Protect it by dog, baby. Alright, go on natural. Alright, don't need a whole bunch here. I think that should do it. Slice that nice like that there. Okay, like. Alrighty. Got that all good. Cut up. Make sure that's cut up good. Like that there. Pop that off. Take that like that. Take that like that. We're gonna make a nice little flat surface so we can uh, julienne this sucker I'm gonna do that with this one too Make a flat surface so we can work with Alright Careful, careful, careful Use that flat surface 
you made seasoning so we're just gonna use just a little bit like that there mix that all around and it's looking good like that there now I like to steam my cabbage just a little bit before I make the rolls alright so that's how I'm gonna do mine you could do yours how you like to do it but that's how I'm gonna do mine alright I don't want it all crunchy. I want it a little wilty. And this comes out good the way I like it, alright? Okay, so we're gonna take a um, pan. We got like an inch of water down. Not even it's like a half an inch, something like that there. Alright. Make sure our cabbage is nice and finely chopped up. Alright. We're gonna do it one more time just to make sure. chicken that I had marinate 48 hours in that good old jerk seasoning. What I'm gonna do here is peel off the skin because we don't need that. You know what I mean? That's tasty stuff there but for this recipe you don't need that. off that I can and this just fall right off the bone now I did this in the oven right I cooked it on 425 until I see excuse for itself until I see the skin tear away from the bone that means to me it's done when you cook your chicken and all the skin and all the everything fall from the leg like that to me, that's when it's done. All right? So we're just gonna put this in big old chunks for right now. When we get to uh, making this a little smaller, a little later. That's what we got there. Now this ain't all garbage over here. You got some nice skin and some other stuff going on there. Go ahead and dig in. Okay, let's take a trip over here. This is just now starting to uh, steam up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix that seasoning around like that there. And now, I'm gonna shut it off. That's it, did the job. That's the, that's the desired way I wanna do it. We're gonna put some Paula Dean in there, all right? A little bit of butter to that, let that sit in there. Put the top back on that and let that sit. Oops, let it sit. Okay, we're doing all right. So, at this step, it's gonna make a little slurry to uh, seal up those uh, egg rolls when we make them. So just a little cornstarch and some water. Make a little paste there. This is like glue, baby. That's all you gotta do. Something like that, then. All right. Perfecto. Okay. 
Okay, for our next trick, we want to uh, pan fry these little uh, shrimp up just a little bit because we want them all the way done as they cook. Even though in the frying process it's going to cook, I want a little more done as I want to make sure. All right? So, I'm going to add a couple of allspice berries to it. I got my little mallet here. Get this little mash out. And I'm going to add this to the oil. I want a little extra church flavor going on in there. So you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do something like that there. I got some olive oil over there, over there. Take you on over here. Screw. Getting all ready for you. Just gonna throw that in there. When it get all hot, I'm gonna add them scraps. I'm gonna fry those up. Alright? That's how it's going down. Don't need no heat because we got enough heat going on. Okay, we cooking with gas now, so let's make sure that our chicken got bite-sized pieces that we're going to add to uh, the mix here. Veg over here sitting here all nice. Just gonna add that to that. Try not to get any liquid in there. The least amount of liquid we get in there, the best. You don't want to pop and sizzling on you when you start frying it up. We got that like that there. Got that all mixed up. And last night. Now let's get to making some egg, okay, egg rolls. Now when I make egg rolls, I like to use two of the skins combined because that way your filling don't fall out and it makes a nice and crispy ting when you got it fried up, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our filling and put it crosswise. See that? Found something. Get up out of there. All right. Close to the bottom. Add a little shrimp to this because you know I'm a fat boy and I stay pretty to the dish. Alright, so what you want to do is roll up. <laughs> yeah, roll up, baby. Then you make it like an envelope like that there. Squeeze it nice and tight and get your roll on. Alright. Get your roll on. Now when you get close. Add a little bit of that slurry mix so that it stick. All right. Then you go across the outside like that there. Because I ain't always the best. I like to tuck just to make sure at the end, make sure it's tucked. All right. I don't think it's going to come out. It's not. But you want to make sure that it stays in there. All right. Put some on the outside. I like to let it rest on the scene. So by the time I get to cooking, so it's all nice and sealed up, fry up nice. All right. Drain out all that Earl. We got a nice treat ready for you now, baby.
So there you have it. Jerk chicken egg rolls. Just in time for Memorial Day. Saying thank you to the service man. Alright, got mango puree, pineapple mango. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> nah. Mm. Now it's good. Now you know what to do with that leftover jerk chicken. You can try to eat it the regular way. Make some jerk chicken egg rolls. This edition of Fat Boy. Fitting in the Tired of the same old same. I played his lane. Who's gonna change the game? Huh? Fat Boy Fresh. Yup. Dad. Red one, bread two, check. Fat boy, fit it that shit. Fat boy fresh. Yup. Fat boy fresh. Fat boy flex. Slice, dice, and crash. You make salads and dollars and talents and maids and Italian, Asian, Occasion. Yup. Yep. Fat, fat boy, boy fresh. fresh. Yeah. That boy, fit it that shit. Wrong. 